all right guys i'm here with some information for dragon ball legends now i kid you not i just finished making my first lick video for sparking super saiyan 2 vegeta and sparking super saiyan 3 goku but right as i finished the official dragon ball legends twitter account also posted another gameplay clip of another new unit coming to the game and it's ultimate gohan thank god so naturally so i have to redo everything we do have gameplay of the three units so let's check them out right now ah! wonder how i measure up to a god of destruction no That's not enough to defeat me. Huh? Don't even try it. Huh? Hey, over here! Yeah! That was underwhelming. All right, so now that we've seen the gameplay, let's break down what the characters can actually do. So starting off with Vegeta, it says, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta arrives. With Bulma hurt, Vegeta is in rage. His unique ability gives multiple effects, such as strike damage up and health, and key restored when two allies are defeated. Turn the fury of watching allies go down into powerful force. Now, truthfully speaking, this doesn't sound too bad. The downside is they're foreshadowing that this particular Vegeta will need to be used near the end of battle as I guess the last unit. Now, I see what they're trying to go for, but I'm not necessarily sure if it's going to work. And the main reason is because one, we don't know how much, I guess, of a buff his strike damage will get. We don't know um, what will happen with his health. Like, you know, I'm guessing obviously he's gonna restore health, but we don't know how much. And we don't know how fast his key restore speed will be. On top of all of that, one detriment would be element factor. And if he's pinned up against, you know, an opponent where he'll have the element factor disadvantage, I'm not sure how much any of this will really do for him. Now, if it's like neutral damage or, you know, if he has element factor advantage and is able to do critical damage, then maybe I can see something happening, but it's, it's too, it's like putting all of your eggs in one basket. And I'm not necessarily sure that's a good idea. There are some people out there who do like having, I guess, the disadvantage and they can work that into an advantage somehow, some way. But in this particular case, I'm not sure if this is really a good idea, but again, this is just what the Twitter account is telling us. We won't really know everything about the unit until we actually get our hands on it. But from there, we go to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So it says, Super Saiyan 3 Goku arrives from the battle with Majin Buu on Supreme Kai's planet. Here comes Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Only five counts required to activate his main ability. Plus for 45 counts from the battle start, he inflicts 40% more damage and raises key recovery by 30%. Now. Goku also falls in that same trap with Vegeta. The only difference is they're inferring that this Goku needs to be used at the beginning of battle. So the thing is for 45 counts, he's going to be hitting pretty hard. So that's not bad. And he also um, has the ability to raise his uh, key resource speed by 30%. So again, all around, it's pretty decent. The downside is after 45 seconds, he's just there. You know, it, like his main perk of him being a powerful warrior kind of drops after 45 seconds. And of course, within battle, you're not going to keep Goku in the entire time. You're going to be switching your units out. So you may not even be able to utilize, I guess, his fullest potential because of that one particular fact. There are other elements out there that could be a detriment to that as well, such as element factor disadvantage, where in that particular case, you really should swap out. But I, I don't know. Like... It, it sounds more so, I get like a kind of, uh, I guess, heart virus-esque Goku feeling from him, 
where you know for the first i believe heart virus goku was first 20 seconds of battle um you do like a lot of damage afterwards then that's it and even at that he, he had the other thing where you know he kept on attacking he you know ended up hurting himself but i digress on that anyway this is just for 45 seconds you know in comparison to 20 seconds so i i i don't know i don't know how exactly that will work if they if somebody can make that work that would be great but after 45 seconds i guess it really comes down to what his base stats really are because if they're solid then there's not really an issue but it's if they're kind of mediocre and this is supposed to be his entire gimmick he does not seem like a solid unit at all and even at that the one thing that i guess the super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta are i guess a type of category that they're put into is the category of no longevity because when it comes down to it at the end of the day they don't really seem like there'll be units that can hold it down in the long run because if you build a team with super saiyan 3 or i should say new super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta you're going to need a strong middle unit that is able to hold down the tide of battle for a various amount of scenarios so at the end of the day they could be good units i mean if we can get a bit more details when they actually drop but for now they seem kind of on that borderline of they could be good and that other borderline of uh, they're kind of meh but moving on from that we do have the newly announced ultimate gohan so it says ultimate gohan arrives his special skill potential unleashed changes effects and becomes stronger per use draw it by his uh, unique ability over here fool activated when vanishing step succeeds unleash the potential and land his ultimate skill burst rush now ultimate gohan sounds like a good unit <laughs> and the reason being is because his potential unleash is an install similar to how i would say one-handed spear bomb goku's um you know the spirit bomb charge it would function something like that where you can stack it on i'm assuming in this particular case it would probably be about three times and then afterwards you unleash your um your special ult and through that you will do massive damage um we don't know what his ultimate attack is i'm pretty sure it's gonna be just like kamehameha or even masenko or something but his special ult is burst rush and you're kind of inferred or i guess um kind of you know they're telling you look stack up potential unleashed and use burst rush that's not bad that's not bad but the only thing is we don't know anything else apart from that you know we don't know like um i think well if anything he's probably gonna be a melee type it, it seems like he's going to be a melee type but we need to know like what his stats are like if he's able to take a hit if he's able to deal damage um when he uses potential unleashed how much of a boost does he get like if, if his strike arts goes up or if his blast arts goes up or if he becomes you know a tank or something we need to know these things about that special skull card because right now we know absolutely nothing about it apart from stacking on top of each other to use burst rush but either way at the very least compare or you know compared to the other you know two units ultimate go does seem like the better unit so far and i'm not saying that as in you know as a fan of gohan but more so the fact that he doesn't have some sort of negative drawback where again super saiyan 3 goku is use him at the beginning of battle for 45 seconds and that's it and then vegeta is use him at the end of battle and that's it and remember i was saying that if you were to use those two you might need a middle unit gohan sounds like that middle unit that can hold it down i don't know if that'll necessarily be the case but if if it is that's not a bad thing because he does not have a negative drawback from using potential unleashed and then obviously using burst rush but either way that is our first look at sparking super saiyan 2 vegeta sparking super saiyan 3 goku or i should say new sparking super saiyan 3 goku and of course sparking ultimate gohan but i do want to know are you guys excited for any of these units let me know in the comment section below but with that being said i'm into kuba like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video